Congratulations on Summer Jam, my friend. Yes, man. On Thank you. Summer Jam stage. Yes, sir. I was on a side stage last year outside. You know what I'm saying? So to go from side stage to main stage in one year, Easy. that's too hard, man. And it's just, you know, I feel like I'm just getting started still. So I got a lot to prove. Um, you know, with this new shot, album, man. new music, just ripping it down, going hard. So I'm excited to just prove that, make a statement, be legendary. You know what I'm saying? Definitely gonna take it to that level. So I feel like this is a good start, man. To hit that summer jam stage for the first time, and we're gonna tear it down. You but know you, what I'm saying? Have you hit that. the main stage before, right? I hit it with Chris, Chris Brown. Brown. Pause. Yep. <laughs> uh, Last year, you know what I'm saying, but this year it's gonna be crazy. You know, you got we got slight work, we got ass. Nikki gonna be there. We got Marvin. A lot of joints. We got you know Mercy. You know what I'm saying. Wow. I don't. Where's like, that Mercy gonna come in? That's that. Well, don't. Mace just hopped in that remix to Slight Work. Yeah, that's hard. Mace just hit me up too, man. We, we got something in the works. You know, what sorry. I'm saying? He, he surprised me. Called me just out of nowhere. Was he like, "Yo, this Mace and Betta"? He's like, "What's up, this Mace?" <laughs> <laughs> I said, like, "Hey, what's up, this Mace?" He was like, "Hey, what's, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really digging your style. Uh, you know, we need to work." <laughs> so I'm like, "I'm like this, <laughs> the fuck." <laughs> No, but so, you know, that's somebody who I came up listening to. That whole Bad Boy era, Biggie was like, you know, the reason I rock a Jesus piece and the reason I call myself Big Sean, you know what I'm saying, is that Bad Boy era, the whole, yeah, they yeah. was rocking the gold, the rollies. I used to want a rollie like Big and Pac, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, that's crazy to just have, you know, we got something that works with him. Um, a lot was, of people just. There. How was that Nicki Minaj video shoot, though? Yeah. It was great. It was ass was right on me. I was handling it like a G. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for you. It, it was it wasn't no plans either, so we didn't know what we was gonna do. You know, we just knew we wanted to be in a shot together. So it was just freestyle, you know. I thought I handled it. You know, it you saw cool. me. Yeah, it was cool. I had a good time. Did you man. have any dudes like eyeballing you there when like to make sure you didn't get too comfortable and like Nah, they was everybody in there was just it wasn't too many people in there. It was about four people in there. After you did the video of Nicki Minaj, be honest, mm -hmm. at any point, did you pleasure yourself thinking oh about the experience? Oh, my God. No, I want to know. always have to I go would, there. I would have. All the time. No, man, I didn't. Will you? Will you, please? I probably will tonight will after I started thinking about it. What, you want it, him to whip it out right now and pleasure now. What are you talking about, Will? You? <laughs> Why are you asking this man to pleasure himself? Because I want to live vicariously God, getting damn. Nicki Minaj. Yo, this is what I got to work with every day, yo. You should ask me if I pleased myself with Nicki yeah, Minaj. Yeah, like, ask me. What's the answer to that? <laughs> do I, or do I? Or do you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even give Big Sean enough. I don't. Credit. I don't know the answer Ass. to that, man. Jeez. You know? So you did smash Nicki Minaj then? Hmm. What's it? What? You had Little sexual Little intercourse. Yo, this guy right here. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is just. Oh, he did. Well, Sean, I've got to ask you. Maybe you can help me out with a situation. Mm -hmm. Your new joint that uh, dropped with Kanye. You guys actually hopped on the remix to a certain song with Chief Keef. Mm -hmm. And now there's a big controversy with the producer upset because Kanye changed the song up for the Good Music remix. Mm -hmm. What's going on with well, that? Well, shout out to Young Chop, you know what I'm saying? That's my dog, of course, you know, I'm all good music, it's all fam. I just think it was a misunderstanding, man. You know how it goes when sometimes people be up in their own worlds and, you know, you just, it's all about communication sometimes. I think it was just a lack of communication between the two. Oh. And uh, But it was a remix, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, you know, I don't know how official they were taking it. I don't know if it's going to iTunes. It was just like something we were just doing. So, so. you know the guy? Young Chop? You know the producer? Yeah, me and him got some stuff from my album coming out. Oh. I mean, so but if anything... with Kanye on it, too. But if anything, wouldn't that, you know, help his career with Kanye getting on there and then I mean, having that's all these what I would big think, artists on the song? Yeah, you could look at it from many ways, though. You know, it's like... Because um, he had some pretty harsh things to say. Like, What did he say? He felt yeah, very he disrespectful. I, I he was I'm... like, he changed my shit up. You know, I, I wouldn't fucking do things like... He was cursing. Jesus like, in his statements, that's what G he was On the radio, saying. too. On the radio. <laughs> right? God. This is we, what I work we with. Can leave it out. <laughs> you know, so I'm just like, <laughs> no, why, why think, is he so um, harsh? Easy. Of course, Young Chop is like 18 years old from the oh, shot. You know him, what I'm saying? I'm serious. You should call him on his cell phone. I'll talk to him right now. <laughs> Does he know that you sat around... Waiting I was about for to Kanye say. for years for your career, and yeah. then it happened. Yeah, I made it happen too, but it's he like, it but he needs to chill. I think, but you gotta give him some advice, man, because you know how Kanye is. is. Like I said, you know he young. I can't say he wrong. I can't say he right. You know, it's it's all opinionated. It's not like what's right or what's wrong or what's ethical. You know, he can speak his mind. He got that choice himself. But 
I just feel like I personally didn't necessarily think it should have been that big. Like, he should have made that big of a deal. I think it could have been handled inside. But if that's what he want to do, that's what he want to do. And I can't blame him. But the dude, Chief Keef, is only 16 years old, right? 16 or 17. Yeah, that's pretty, still, that's pretty young to be working no, with. No, that's crazy. He's still in high school. Could yeah. you imagine going to high school? Like, yeah, I just dropped a song with Kanye. No, not just Kanye. Who else is on there? And who else on Everyone's on it. Push is on it, right? Push and Jada. Push got the first verse. Jada's on it. Crazy. That's insane. Does he even go to school though? I heard that kid is out in the you know, streets, house like and stuff like that. I'm sure he <laughs> go to high school. Much though. like my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really I thought interesting. You was on house arrest when you was in high school. All yeah, of us, right. I was house on... arrest by his mom with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Talk to us about this good music compilation. I mean, it sounds like it's What's going that? to be insane. It has the potential mm -hmm. to be to be the best hip hop compilation ever. It is going to be. It's crazy. I'm not saying that like just like bullshitting you either. It's for real. No, we be the feel best the energy. Compilation. It is. Any ideas? Because on that's what. Be dropping? Yeah, it's dropping this summer. But but the point is, it's like the thought process. A lot of people don't think. Kanye is a thinker. You know what I'm saying? I'm a thinker. We all thinkers. We think about the moves we make, and it's like we are consciously looking at all the compilations that's been done, all the albums that's been done, and intentionally making our shit better because that's what it's all about is being the best you know what i'm saying so that's a dude who knows how to make a classic album no id that's a dude who know how to make a classic album everybody working on that's involved in this project they know how to make classic albums and that's what we doing we're making a classic especially for a compilation i'm and it's tight to be I mean, a part usually of usually compilations are almost throwaway albums yeah, hell you know yeah. Saying people like just whip some stuff up, take a song, that old song from here, put a song here. This sounds like you got. No, this is man. This, is this has been like we've been putting time into it. I mean, like surgery, money, flying around the world. Like it's really going in, man. So you know, you can only expect the best. I feel like we gonna prove that good music, the best team in the game. We are gonna prove we the best rappers, the best everything. Are you knocking down any Kardashians? Okay. Man, I, I, I any... was trying to I was trying to see if there were, were any more. But there's a there's a few uh, more floating around. <laughs> you've been you've been around Kim Kardashian, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Like yeah. one thing that I think people get caught up in when they like to take shots at Kim Kardashian, and you can gather this honestly from watching her. She's a really nice girl. She is. She's like they're not they're not assholes. They're they're good people. They all of them. The all of them are nice too. None of them are assholes. None of them got no egos. Everybody cool, man. And it's just like, I think there are people who just really. Like took advantage of their situation or their popularity and made it into like an empire. They like are rich, you know what I'm saying? They role role models. They do positive things. They live in their life. So you know you gotta give like big ups to them for that. Straight up. Agreed. W which celebrity? Which chicks are you knocking down out there in L. A. Everybody, man. All of them, right? Everybody. Elizabeth Berkeley from Saved by the Bell. Have you hit that? Where is she at? I don't know. I was, <laughs> I was, I was, I was, that's a good one. <laughs>